Have you ever gotten a gift that you don't really want? I got this hatchet once. I thought it was a silly gift. But that gift, that hatchet, ended up saving my life. I was on a small plane, just me and the pilot, when something terrible started to happen as we were flying over the woods. Our pilot had a heart attack. Oh my goodness, we were going to crash. Oh my god, what are we to do? I woke up in the water. The plane had crashed. I knew the pilot was dead. What in the world was I going to do? It's only day one, and already I feel like I'm going to die from thirst and hunger. I get some water. Not only do I need water, but I need help, and I need it fast. It doesn't seem to matter how far I run or how quickly I do it. There's no one here to help me, and I already know it. But can I survive on my own? I'm thirsty. I'm hungry. I can already hear the bears and wolves creeping up on me. I'm so hungry and so thirsty, and I can only assume that they are too. Am I going to be the next dinner? And if I do survive the animals, will I get any dinner myself? Time to toughen up and use my hatchet. One, build fire. Two, find some food. And three, most importantly, survive. hatchet so many times and finally I'm able to review this great book. Four words to explain this amazing book. This book is awesome. It's just such a great book that it inspires people to want to read. In fact, my mom had never read any book completely other than like a baby book and she just did not like reading. It was like her, her enemy until she read Hatchet and she was in fourth grade like me. So she was excited for me to read it. If that just one Hatchet book can inspire to my mom to go into the world of reading, I am sure that you will love this book. It, this is an adventure book. It's like the I Survive series. So if you like those, you will love Hatchet. 100% guaranteed. This is one of the best books I've ever read. But it asks all these what if and how questions that you might not even dare to ask yourself. How will you get food? How will you get water? What if your plane crashes? What if you can't find shelter? If you are afraid of the dark, you might never want to ask yourself any of these questions that the main character has to live through. Would you just give up if all this happened to you? Or would you be a survivor? Would you try and live as long as you can? Or would you just give up and not risk and not risk dying the hard way. Well, this guy is a survivor, and he goes through so many challenges, from not knowing if berries are poisonous or not, from, to mosquitoes biting all over his body, almost tearing him apart. He goes through so many challenges, and it's your job to know if he gets rescued or not. And it's in one easy step. Read the book. 
Thank you so much for watching this video, and I know that you'll like it. No matter who you are or what you are, except if you're like a mosquito. Well, maybe you might like that because you almost kill a guy. Well, I actually have made a family video. If you would like me to post it, I can. And, and comment below if you want me to post it or not. It's just a video of our family. So if you just want to know more about our family and what we do and that kind of stuff, just comment below. And if you only want book reviews, you can also comment that below. I just want to know. And you can really comment about anything you want to comment about. <laughs> it's not specific. You can really comment anything from what book should I read to how do I make a trampoline. You can comment almost anything and I will answer it if I'm able to. I don't think I know how to make a trampoline. So don't comment that. <laughs> And make sure that you like and subscribe if you want more videos. And feel free to tell me what your favorite videos are and what type of videos you'd like more of because I have so many video ideas that I think are so cool and so great, but I don't know if you guys will like it or not. So just give me, just give me more of what you like so that I can make videos the way you like them to be. See us next time on Studio B, and don't forget your hatchet.